This morning, I heard a troubling case. You know, excessive gambling and alcohol abuse can destroy relationships. For the couple I met today, compulsive behavior combined with a very unusual living arrangement brought them into divorce court. Divorce court is now in session. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here with Alexander Anderson and Teresa Williams. The two of you have been together for five years, but you do not want to be together anymore. You've come to me to resolve some financial issues for you. Uh, but I want to start with Mr. Anderson. Why don't you tell me a little bit ab about your relationship and why you're trying to end it here today? Um, well, basically, Your Honor, she, Ms. Williams has a gambling problem, and um, it's to the point to where she gambles and drinks all the time. I try to always coincide with her. I even had to come one time and find her in the casino after two days of being gone. And then I had to pull off the machines and basically drag her out of the casino because she just won't stop gambling. When we first met, I gave her $100. She told me she knew how to play roulette. She lost it in 10 minutes. It's just ridiculous. I just can't do it. Ms. Williams, do you agree with him that you have a gambling problem? No, 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 think about it. Do you have a gambling problem? Do you have a little um, issue we there? we first got together, I, I did. Mm-hmm over kind of do the situation. But when I met him, I was gambling and mm -hmm. he stuck money in my machine. So, I mean... So I, you were at the casino when you met? Yes. And I was gambling and he came up to, and was talking to me and he put money in my machine. And we started from there. I mean, I always was honest with him about my habits and things that I did. So That's it wasn't true. like nothing that was surprising. But I guess after throughout the years, he's making a big issue out of it when he used to professionally play poker, and he gambled. And now he's, like, judging me about the whole situation. And Were I don't you a really professional poker player? Yes, ma'am. Why is it so distressing that she cut gambles when you, in fact, did it as a profession at one point? I know how to walk away. I won hundreds... I mean, I won thousands of dollars. She, in terms, just basically gambles all her money away. And she's just she not never, any good. Yeah, you were good at it. Good. She's not. So she, never, <laughs> so she never, you know, admits that that's the problem. Mm -hmm. And then it's just so many instances where it's been times where she just gambles and gambles. I mean, I'm, I'm tired of having to GPS her, and I can't even trust her to go to the store. Because she was gone the whole day. I'll be back in five minutes, and then she's gone. Gone the whole day. It's just Is it just the gambling or... You also say that there's a drinking component to it that you find troubling. Yes. She drinks more than anybody I've ever seen in life. She drinks like, you know, even from, you know, guys have been in the military or whatever, she drinks horribly. I mean, every day it's a drink, drink, drink. And, I mean, come on, a well at some point goes dry. <laughs> yes, Ms. Williams, do you, you think you have a drinking problem? It's not really necessarily a problem. He feeds my habit, okay? It's he will not come necessarily in. a problem. What am I supposed to do? And he feeds your habit. Now, that yeah. means there's a problem. Both of, those, both of those statements, right? Okay, but to me, I know how... I mean, where I was and where I'm at, where I'm at now. Okay. My drinking has slowed down completely in on how I years, used to be. In five years, it slowed down 2% out of 100. <laughs> he just... That's that's what what Williams, Williams. So Why you, don't you tell me I how much him. do you drink on a daily basis? I would say... Three times a week, maybe? Three times a week? Five times a week, a bottle of each time, at least. And then when Like I a fifth or yes, a pint? Yes, a fifth. A fifth? Or a, about ten shots. So when I say, listen, I want you to stop drinking, she just says, oh, mind your business, and you're not... I'll buy my own. I'm like, I gave you the money to buy that. But I, I don't support that. I mean, I'm like, I need you to really stop drinking so much because you're going to turn your liver bad. But mm. it's just like, oh, whatever, and then she cussed me out. What kind of drunk is she? I mean, is she a fun drunk, or is she, uh, <laughs> you know... Well, I mean, she drinks to the point where it's like, it's just... Uh, she, she's never, like, the same. She might get drunk one time, and then she'd be a good drunk, then she just a talkative drunk, then it's, like, all my fault. And An then angry so, drunk. Right. She's just any kind exactly. of old drunk. <laughs> and then it's, it just... Uh, is it the same thing always? It always. never changes. Okay, Ms. Williams, we've been talking about you so much. Let me give you an opportunity to talk about Mr. Anderson. What do you say is the reasons uh, this relationship is now ending? The reason of it is because I let him financially help me and take care of me. So now he got this little thing where he feels like he's in control of everything. I mean, he's limited things that he got for me. He have took back things he didn't got for me. But, Yana, I have and to take stuff back from her because if I don't, she'll take it and sell it or whatever she's going to do to go gamble. Do you, do you ever tell untruths or lies about gambling so, just so he would, won't give you static? 
No, it's like he's right there, though. He's gambling, too. It's not true, y'all. He's gambling with me because he doesn't want me to go nowhere by myself. Because apparently... Do you go to the casino with her? Yeah, he'll be Sometimes right there. Sometimes I have to come to the casino after GPSing her to find her because she won't answer her phone. I'm thinking something's wrong. And like I said, I found her after two days of being gone, Yana, on a keno machine, drunk, half sleep. And I had to come in and drag her out of the casino. Then, when we got home, she thought I, she laid down. She thought I was asleep. She tried to sneak right back out the, the same night. And I called her. And I said, no, you just been out two days. You're going to get some rest. She just will not stop gambling and drinking. Were you drunk on the keno machine? I probably was tired and kind of she was drunk, slurring, so cussing me out. Are you at all everything... worried about that? Are you at all worried about how much money you spend drinking or how much, uh, alcohol your body is having to deal with, does it concern you at all? Yes. I mean, the don't alcohol, even listen to him. The but... alcohol part do. It does. But the gambling part, I mean, I wouldn't be able to gamble like that if he wouldn't give me the money. So it's is his like fault? you're talking about me, but, but you're, you're condoning but to the whole situation, before, too, because uh -huh. where else I'm going to get the money from? Well, well, Ms. Williams, let me ask you this. Do you, is, do you now blame him for your gambling? Because if he wouldn't no, give you the money... All. I know. Because I, I bet you, you I don't get... blame him because I was doing it before I met him. Exactly. She was doing it before she but met him. But now, all of a sudden, but it's a problem. when we got together, it was supposed to be an understanding about the gambling. Well, if what I... was the understanding? Well, if she's going to gamble, do it at a certain degree. Because when I go to the table and I gamble, I'm not giving away all my money. And then she comes to me Did and Did you money. really have an understanding or was that just something that you assumed? Well, I Because people we... don't sit down. I mean, <laughs> as rational as that sounds, people don't do that. Right. People don't sit down and say, you know, you've gambled all this time. You now know. that we're together, I want you to cut down by 17%. <laughs> that doesn't happen, right? right. Or maybe correct. I was just spending too much of his money. That's what it was, probably. Ms. Williams, I'm going to turn to you now and let you tell me what you believe is the primary problem you have with Mr. Anderson. Um, him being insecure about everything that I do, and... Give me an example basically of he, a circumstance in which he demonstrated with the his G, insecurity. With the GPS situation and tracking my every location, um, me asking for permission if she to go What anywhere. do you have to have permission to do? Anything outside of my home. We just recently got in an argument about me cracking the door to take the trash out because he's all paranoid about um, people running in there or something that he had. No, that's not Does she have young. to have permission to leave the house? I'm no, the trash. if she's saying she's going to the store, Your Honor, she will leave for days. And then when I do find her, I don't know if she's well or in trouble or not. So I'm sitting up here telling her, at least let me know. I know you're gambling, so stop trying to cut your phone on and off because I already GPSed you. I'm already there. This is just crazy on, on 19 different <laughs> levels, first of all. <laughs> Where is your dignity? You got a girlfriend, you got a lady. Don't go sleep with her best friend, whether she gives you permission or not. Have you been living together for years but find that splitting up is as complicated as getting a divorce? Call toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or visit our website at divorcecourt.com. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Divorce Court. I know I said I wanted to talk to you about things that bother you with Mr. Anderson, but I'm going to pick one for you okay. because I was so interested in it. Uh -huh. And that was your friend, Trina. Yes. Explain to me how she got involved and what's going on okay. between him and her. Okay. Um, me and Trina have been best friends since the sixth grade. Right. And um, she had just got out of jail. Um, around the time that me and him had got together. Mm -hmm. And we had a suite, and I invited her over. And um, her and one of her little male friends came over. And um, they were introduced to each other, and she was, like, congratulating the whole little thing between me and him, that she was happy for me, and et cetera. And then um, me and him had um, went our own separate ways for that day, and he had got a hotel room, which he was supposed to call me and let me know that he was there. But apparently him and Trina was at the room, and have been looking for me all day. Again, gambling. But she was supposed to be going home. And um, I was just kind of concerned about that situation. Like, you guys been together all day long. Nobody has called me and told me anything. I had to call and find out which room he was at through his last name. They end up sleeping with each other, and because... I just was kind of like, you're supposed to be my best friend, and you're supposed to be starting a relationship with now, me. Now, when you say they ended up sleeping together, when mm -hmm. was this? How long had... That same night. 
Mr. Mr. Anderson, is that accurate? That's accurate, Your Honor, but basically, she was axed. You know, I had never done nothing like that before. She was asked, was it okay? And she agreed. She said, yes, it's okay. I had just met her, and she introduced me to her friend. I mean, that's not something that I normally would just, you well, know, why do. Why would you do it, though? Well, let me ask you this, Ms. Williams. You I did say him okay is because I said I feel like something is going on here with the little flirting and him looking at her in these little shorts and everything. So I'm like, well, if you guys want to have sex with each other, you guys might as well get it over with because it's gonna be real trifling if I have to hear about it behind my back. And when they were acting like I'm tripping and oh, no, we don't like because each other she like was, that. Well, what, Mr. Mr. Wait, 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 hold up, hold tripping. up, hold up. This is just crazy on on 19 different <laughs> levels. First of all. <laughs> Where is your dignity? You got a girlfriend, you got a lady. Don't go sleep with her best friend, whether she gives you permission or not. What kind of what kind of dignity is that? What kind of self-respect do you have for you, you know, you're gonna deal with you gonna sleep with a friend who I just got it, out of I jail? Thought, honestly, I thought it was a little <laughs> listen, I thought it was a little strange too, Yarna. But she had asked me that she said she wanted to help her friend out. I'm assuming that she help wanted to help friend her friend out. out. But I wasn't talking about sleeping with her, but Yarna. As far as her, she's ungrateful. When she first no, met No, 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 Miss Anderson. <laughs> We're still ungrateful. talking about Trina. And I want to know where your dignity was when you slept with your woman's best friend. That's what I want to know, whether I... you got permission to do it or not. I thought it was okay because she had agreed. I thought it was something they had agreed on. I didn't find out till later that it was not agreed on. But you didn't on. find that nasty or tacky or wrong in any way, shape, or form. I, I mean, you have your been... own moral... moral. Co you know, he could give me permission to do a lot of things that I wouldn't do simply because my moral code wouldn't allow it. And I'm asking you, is your moral code that sketchy that you would... Oh, hey, my girlfriend said I can sleep with this... this chick out to prison. Let me go, go do it. <laughs> It, it was a one time it was a one time thing, y'all, and it just went farther. I only did that to see how low they both was gonna go. And they proved me right. Well, oh now, Ms. Williams, that? that's the silliest thing what? I ever heard. You right. never tell exactly. two people that they can go off and sleep together. I know all y'all were probably drinking and it was ridiculous, but you don't go do that. Well, no, you have to have you have no, you gotta have lines, you gotta have rules, you gotta have you gotta have friends who won't sleep with your man. Do you know what I'm saying? And she's been You told me it was just the one time, did you not? No, I said she initiated the one time. She did. She said it was okay. You have two kids with her best friend? Yes, ma'am. I'm stunned. If you would like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Divorce Court. Now, Ms. Williams, you contend that Mr. Anderson never listens to you when you talk. Now, apparently, he heard you when, it, when you said it was okay <laughs> to go sleep with your girlfriend. But what I want to know is, what do you mean when you say he never listens to you? Basically, he will be sitting right there in front of me, and I'll have a, a deep conversation with him. And then he'll answer, and his answer will be something that, like, throw me off, because I'm like, did you hear what I was saying? And he, yeah, 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 I hear you. But if That's I'm, if he's explaining something... For a moment to finish. If he's explaining something, I mean, he got my all defined attention. I mean, I have to stop doing everything I'm doing. He'll sit right in front of me and yell at me or embarrass me in front of lots of people. And, um... When uh, does he do that? Um, he, in public. Uh, but under what circumstance would he... Oh, because circumstances I didn't would tell he... him that I was, I was leaving. I had went up to the casino. Mr. Morning. Anderson, she'll your response to that just contention? Like she just said, yes, because she'll leave and go to the casino again when we agreed to slow down on the gambling. This is a constant thing. I mean, you just got to understand that she plays and gambles way too much. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, she expects me to just keep on giving her money, 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 and I feel like out of five years, you should be listening to me. You should understand I'm trying to help you. Because mm -hmm. you're not paying for anything, it's me paying for everything, mm -hmm. and I should at least have a say on what's going on. Right. You don't have to tell me a lie about going to gamble, because mm -hmm. I know you're going to gamble. Mm -hmm. You have a gambling problem. Yes. Do you agree with that? You have a gambling problem? Yes. Okay. She says, however, that you don't listen to her. Now, I know the gambling is a problem, and it's a huge problem, and it messes with your money, and it messes with your trust, and all of that. But all of that aside, I think what Ms. Williams is trying to tell you is that she needs some emotional 
satisfaction from you that she's not getting. And normally when women feel that way, they say, I'm not heard. He's not listening to me. Did, you with me so far? I'm with you, you with but so far? she shows yeah, no yeah, affection. Well, he doesn't hey, listen hey, to anybody. Hey, hey. Do you spend time with her in a way that makes her feel uh, important and heard? Yes, I do. That's why when she came to me and said she wanted to have a party, I invited 30th of all our friends and family, and then she was still ungrateful from that point. Okay, well, who all was there? Okay. Trina, your two kids, your family, and me. It always has to be us. All right, for but the listen. For five years. I got the place for you. It wasn't for everybody else. You said you I wanted mean, so to have the party. how would you feel? I mean, if you're in a third-party situation, well, and wait a minute. Wait, 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 was was Trina just a one-time thing? No, he has two kids with her. A one and two-year-old, and she's been. You told me it was just the one time, did you not? No, I said she initiated the one time. She did. She said it was okay. You have two kids with her best friend? Yes, ma'am. I'm stunned. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, then I was just recently pregnant, and I just was carrying my baby in my tube, so I just had lost my child like a couple weeks ago, you know. Yeah, and we was trying to work on the situation, but it's like it's just too much back and forth. Too much. And if you, you know what? Kids. If you don't like her, don't be with her. But don't knock up her best friend a couple of times. That's absurd. <laughs> if you don't want to be with somebody who gambles and drinks too much, but don't just, just, just demean her like that. You were having a relationship with her best friend. That's understandable, Your Honor, but it was a thing that was agreed on by all parties. It's not just me saying, hey, this is what I'm gonna do. She agreed to it from day one. So she agreed you could have a third chick, a second chick in a relationship. He wanted to take care of both of us. I said, Put I want to help house. her. us in the same house. He'd be bouncing no around the room, in the room. Of You got her pregnant twice. How's that helping her? You supporting those kids? Yes. I take care of everybody. I take care of my kids and her. In divorce court, couples tell me everything about their relationships. Want to share your experience? Join the conversation on our Twitter page at Divorce Court. On Facebook, check out other fans and their intimate issues. You know everybody has something to say about love. What's on your mind? Mrs. Williams, I don't know what happened to you in your life. I don't know what brought you to the keynote table drunk and staying there all the time. I don't know what you're missing. I don't know who hurt you. I don't know where, where you're empty. But whatever it is, I want you to go out there, find it, deal with it, and take care of it so you can put down those chips and so you can put down that liquor. He's not doing anything for you other than maintaining and sustaining and enabling a lifestyle that will ultimately do you in. And I don't want that to happen to you. I want you to be a person who can stand on their own. They don't need to be with a guy, and they don't need to have her him have sex with a friend just to, to keep you up and running. Do you know what I'm saying? You have to draw lines. You have to, you have to be with people who respect you. And you have to respect yourself first in order to be respected by other people. And I think you kind of felt like you had to offer your friend up like that. And that's just, that's so demeaning to you. And I, wa and I want you to know that you have more value than that, that you're worth more than that. And I want you to hold yourself out as you're worth more than that. Do you hear what I'm saying to you? Yeah. You got a lot of nerve feeling uh, indignant about the money that you constantly give her as you enable her to gamble. You got two women that uh, you got up in your house, you're doing them both, you're sleeping with them both, and you're keeping them around because they got low self-esteem and you're keeping them gambling, and that makes you yeah, tacky and a sad man, and it makes me unhappy to be with you, so I will go. This matter is adjourned. <laughs>